Uh, what I'd like to do is just start with a brief summary for anyone that has joined us today that may have missed the first two webinars. The first in the series was for funders and commissioners. So for funders, you can evidence efficient use of resources. I plan it will save valuable staff time currently spent manually collecting information and producing reports as the service does so much of this effortlessly and easily, thus lowering the paper administration cost of managing and tracking performance, plans, outcomes and action progress. Better efficiency and reduced cost of administration from plan administration. Some iPlanet users have reported significant saving on paper and print consumables alone. Reduced administration cost of compliance, whether with the CQC, C SCRC, or the CSSIW, or other statutory report production. On the commissioner's side, you can present incredible evidence. After a recent mapping exercise, where we used the English CQC standards and the Ministry of Health standards in New Zealand, we devised a cross-referencing tool that helps our customers understand where in our planet you would evidence the different standards. So when an inspector comes along from the CQC, you can actually walk around the outcomes and gather all that information and records for an individual that actually link to the five key lines of inquiry, whether that be well led, effective or caring, and you can have an overview of where things are and are not happening. And that's what we demonstrated in the, in the webinar. So the principle is the same, whether they be in the Republic of Ireland, for example, with HICWA or Northern Ireland with the RQIA, or indeed the Welsh with the CSSIW, the same applies for all our customers in Australia, New Zealand, and also in Scotland. So also in the second series, we demonstrated the impact of an outcome to managers and executives through iPlanet. And during the demonstration, we showed you, showed you things like the dashboard, where you can use it as a tool for person-centered staff supervisions and appraisals, which then link into that person-centered culture. We showed you an overview of the different types of outcomes whether it's a person-centered outcome or whether it's one of those outcomes that we call provider outcomes. So on iPlanet, you can have an overview of the types of outcomes and see where people are at. This is also visible through the dashboard. It's information that is easy to extract at the touch of a button. And as far as things like compliance goals, again, this is around provider outcomes that can be easily evidenced whether this is I am healthy and safe or whether that is going through plan sections that can be linked into this. Many plan sections can be linked into one outcome. And this can be drilled down to through the reporting that we showed you. So overall, things like the KPI reporting and the reasons help to guide a strategic approach and really focus on the areas of development. And again, that could be around positive risk under the CQC standards. The whole iPlanet way of working supports and encourages that person-centered culture. But again, if you missed those, we're more than happy to send you a link. Just drop us a line at the end of the webinar. So what I'd like to do, obviously for those that haven't attended, is just give a bit of an overview of iPlanet as it is today with version five. So in the middle, you have your core iPlanet, where you get your notes, you get your plans, document management and workflow, you get the outcomes, you have an alert panel, the messages, the dashboard, which in essence is in the electronic filing cabinet. You also have your KPIs and your reports. Then on the outer side, in the dark blue, you have your add-ons, which these will be uh, decided on business needs of each provider. So you, you have your referrals, your needs assessments, the surveys, the calendar, the day planner, support tasks, funding and budgets, and staff qualifications, and our new event in incident management module. So there's no such thing as a typical day because every person that you support is an individual. They all have different needs and like to do different things. So as you're aware, no two, day, two days are the same. On a morning shift, support staff might support someone with personal care and making breakfast. After that, it's up to them whether they go to college, shopping, bowling, off into town, or even to a day centre, or any other chosen activity or appointment. Or maybe it's dinner later, a meeting with friends. A support worker's job is to support them to do the things they choose and to live their life the way that they want. So whatever is happening in one person's day is all captured in one system and it's easily accessed. So a day in the life of a team member, what sort of things does a team member have to do? Well, whatever the role is, whether it's a support worker on the ground, whether it's a key worker, a team leader, a senior or a manager, at some stage you are going to come into contact with people's outcomes and their plans. It could be around support and risk and at the same time doing that in an inclusive way. While you balance 
those things that are important to the person and those things that are important for the person. And the beauty of iPlanet is that we have brought this together in one single life system where we can close the loop. So carrying on with the day in the life of a team member, I just wanted to run through a couple of the modules and a couple of the functionalities on iPlanet that my colleague Terry is going to be demonstrating shortly anyway. So what wraps around the single outcome is the person's calendar, and that's a person-centered calendar where you can keep a record or plan ahead in a really funky visual way, which my colleague will show you after the slides. So, and then the notes and logs, and all those hundreds and thousands of words and letters that are written every single day by team members. Can you imagine the power of having those wrapped around a single outcome and at your fingertips for you to see? Again, really, really good for person-centered supervision as well as quality monitoring and effectiveness. Team members can enter plans electronically, they can update plans and actions, or update the status progress on an outcome. They can also collaborate with the team, link progress to relevant KPIs, which are important to that provider. The multimedia management and document management functions to help manage content associated with plans. You can upload pictures, music, and videos, which then helps bring the plan, the plan to life. The dashboard also gives you the ability for a team leader or the frontline manager to identify specific items of poor performance, shining a spotlight on quality. This can, could be listing those plans which are not being updated, highlighting service areas where outcomes have not progressed, etc. This becomes basically your electronic filing cabinet, keeping everything in one place. So the power of a single outcome for team members. So wrapped around that outcome is a list of outcomes for people so they are kept informed. It could be a list of outcomes for people that they work with for an individual. So if somebody goes off sick, you always know where you were at. You know exactly where somebody is at with an outcome and an action. People can see exactly where each person is at, whether that is through a daily note or log. You also have the dashboard, so you can see the recent activity which takes place of the um, traditional shift handover that you would be used to with your paper documentation. And then focusing on what really matters to the person. So you have the needs, the care type and the task that are all in place for that one day. So you can separate the really funky outcome to the quite mundane care type tasks that we have to do. This enables you to focus on the people and not the paper because all the information is in one place. So you can access things really quickly and no longer do you have to trawl through communication books and daily diaries and also being accountable. You have your name against an outcome or an action which you are then accountable for and it becomes your job to achieve that. iPlanet will ensure that you have a digital footprint. So again, your accountability, not just in what you do and how you do it, but when you actually record things on iPlanet and all the reasons of why things did or didn't happen are super important to know. Knowing why you couldn't achieve something with somebody is only going to aid and assist you and your team members and the person supported to problem solve and work around things. It could be something as simple as somebody went off sick that day. It's out of your hands. You couldn't physically do whatever it was that you were meant to be doing. And at the same time, it could be that somebody refused to do it. So again, it's telling you an awful lot of information as well as holding you accountable and making sure things happen. Because at the end of the day, that's what we are here for. The re emails and alerts to let support staff know that you've been assigned a new task, for example, as well as having that touch of a button, up-to-date information at your fingertips. So like I said earlier, whatever your role, whether you're a support worker on the ground, a key worker, senior or manager, then iPlanet is for you. iPlanet is going to make sure that you can view support and care plans, and if needed, you can configure and edit support and care plans, depending on what your role is, iPlanet will only show you what you need to need to see and with our location and privileges functionality iPlanet will only allow you to be able to do and see what you're allowed to. That way you're ensuring confidentiality at the same time as data protection which is extremely important to the people that we support and your organization. iPlanet helps you make better decisions because you're more informed, you're more accountable and you have permission to be creative and get things done for people. And as the guys on the ground will know, from a job satisfaction point of view, there's nothing better than to be able to look somebody in the eye and know, we did that. I supported you to do that. And the benefit and the self-esteem and all the benefits that come from helping people make positive changes in their lives and achieve things. And then for you guys who may be responsible for more than one team 
or are you responsible for configuring support plans? My colleague Terry will demonstrate how I plan it will monitor the quality and effectiveness of all these works that staff on the ground are doing and at the same time enable you to track the performance in supporting people. Not just so that you're making life better, which of course is the main point, but also that you're being compliant and that you're able to evidence it. As we said in the previous webinars to the funders, the commissioners, inspectors, the execs and managers and so on.